hey, it's me. And I look like an alien right now because I have my new circle lenses in, which is part of the reason I'm doing this video. I have an agenda today. So one is circle lenses, two BB creams, and three uh, hair accessory organization. So first we will start with the circle lenses, obviously. So I went to Flushing again the other day when we were Skyping, I told you that, and I got some new circle lenses. And I don't know if you can see them very well. Um, here. I have blue eyes now. They're really pretty. I love them. Um, from far away, you can't really see the color, but uh, in person, I think you can. <laughs> at least I hope you can. Um, and when I wear them without any makeup, I just look like an alien. Um, some people like that look. Some people don't. Um, it's a personal preference. Anyway, um, so I wanted to show you these, first of all. I also wanted to compare them to my first pair that I got. Um, the first pair I got was Geo. Um, they're a really good brand, I because I was like, obviously it was my first pair of circle lenses, so I did like a lot of research and I um, really wanted brown ones. I wanted them to be huge, <laughs> and I think I went a little too out there with them for my first pair. I probably should have gone like a step down because they were the like Geo extra large ones. I think they were like 12 millimeters or something. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I did research and people said they were comfortable. They were really wearable, easy for like daily use. And so I went ahead and got them and they weren't expensive. I was really obviously excited about them, but um, I found that after a while they were really hard to wear because obviously they cover a lot of surface area of your eyeball. Therefore, less oxygen comes in to your eyeball, and your eyes get tired faster, they get kind of red. It's not a good look. Um, so I was kind of happy to get rid of those. Um, obviously, they were past their expiration date anyway, so I needed to get rid of them. Um, but I really wanted to try out a new brand, so um, I had heard a lot about Barbie Eyes. Um, I knew they were a good brand, and... Um, they were actually, I was when I first bought my circle lenses, I was debating between those two because, and this is stupid, but the packaging of Barbie eyes is really cute. Um, <laughs> so that's what these are. They're the Barbie eyes. Um, shoot, let me get the, the little container, so I'll be right back. Okay. Um, so these are the ones that it came in. I had to get two different ones, obviously, because I have a different prescription each eye. But, um, they all come in little things like this, um, one in each jar, I don't know if you've ever seen it before. Um, but yeah, this is the brand Barbie Eye. Um, and then that little, little figure right there is so cute, you can actually get that as a case, and it's adorable. Um, but where I bought them, you just bought the little bottles, um, whatever prescription you needed. And, um, yeah, he's so cute. But yeah, Barbie Eye is good, um... These are the the blue diamond pattern. Um, I wish that they had the color on here. It probably did on the the lid, but I threw that part away. I just thought these little things were so cute, and I was like, I could probably find a use for these somehow, so I held on to them. But I know that they're the blue color, obviously, and they're in the diamond pattern, because if you look really closely, I don't know if you can see, but there's like a diamond pattern. They're kind of eye-catching. And it's kind of cool because you can still see my normal eye color underneath. Um, the like hazel, so they kind of blend together, which is fun. Um, anyway, so that's all on circle lenses. Oh, and oh, my point was that these are really fucking comfortable. <laughs> I wore them all day. Uh, not yesterday, but the day... Or no, no, it was yesterday. All day yesterday, I went to... Um, I ran some errands, um, in Brooklyn, and I ran some errands in Manhattan, um, I went to class with them, I came home and I wore them for a little while before I went to, like, went to wash my face off, and I was fine all day. The only thing was that, I mean, I was tired in general, so I mean, my eyes were tired from being tired for real, but not from the lenses, so I was very happy about that. So if you ever want circle lenses, but I don't think you need them because your eyes are fucking huge already, um, <laughs> then... I recommend Barbie Eye. So anyway, moving on to BB creams. When I was at the face store, which is a uh, yeah face store, face shop, I forget. Um, it's a Korean uh, like cosmetic face cleanser cream. 
beauty line. <laughs> um, I went to the one in uh, Koreatown in Midtown Manhattan. And that, well, yeah, it was in my hall. I, I, told, I talked about this. Um, <laughs> talked about this already. Um, but I didn't show you the samples I got. And I was like, oh, I should try those. Oh, I'll show Cody while I'm trying them. So the two BB creams that she gave me are, um, the yeah, their brand, Face It. Um, one is Power Perfection and one is Magic Cover. Uh, one, she said, was more of like a heavy-duty cover. The other one was more natural-looking. Um, I am always so, like, skeptical with BB creams at this point because I feel like I've tried a lot that I didn't like, um, other than the one that I love, which is the Skin 79, the pink one. Although, when I was in Flushing the other day, they, um, I saw the new Skin 79 BB cream. It's in an orange container. It smells amazing, and I think it might be a better color for me, and it's also not as, um... Thick. It's a little more uh, like a lotion than um, like a thick cream, so I might invest in that. Um, although I have not been wearing any makeup on my face besides concealer recently because I haven't had to, and I figure if I don't need to, then I shouldn't be. So I don't know. I'm a little conflicted at this point. But anyway, let's try these ones out. So the first one I'll try um, is the Power Perfection BB Cream. Um, this one has an SPF of 37, um, and it's in natural beige. I'm also a little, like, confused because I always thought that BB creams were, like, one color. Um, <laughs> and I was talking to my friend Sin about it, and she was like, well, they usually are, but they're usually, like, way too light for me because she's Vietnamese, so she has, like, darker skin. Um, and so she gets, like, irritated by that because she's like, they're all... The Japanese people are always trying to look whiter than they are, and so, like, she puts it on and she looks like a ghost face. Um, anyway, this is the, the product I'm just gonna put. I have my makeup mirror right here. I'm just gonna put it on. And, um, so she was, like, complaining about that. And then she found a brand that, like, made lots of different shades. And I guess it's more normal. Now. Ooh, I like this. It is very light. Is there any more product in here, though? Um, and, like, when, like, all the, like, drugstore brands were coming out with BB creams and stuff. I was like, ear takes. They were all like in different colors, but I guess that's like kind of normal now. I don't know. I'm putting way too much of this on, but I'm getting excited. I haven't like applied makeup to my entire face in so long, and it kind of like makes me happy. Um, I like this. It kind of smells a little funky. Like, it kind of smells like a little like. It reminds me of something from my childhood. It kind of reminds me of my mom, the smell of my mom's lipstick when I was little. And I don't know what brand she was using. <laughs> so, in a sense, it kind of smells like opera lady makeup. <laughs> this looks nice! It is a little darker than, like, my skin tone down her. But not by much. This is nice. I like it. It, like, feels nice, too. It kind of makes me look a little glowy. Do you think it's nice? Um, maybe I'll wear this tomorrow, because I have one, another sample of that one. So I might try that out tomorrow for realsies, see how it lasts throughout the day. Um, if I do that, then maybe I'll film how I like it throughout the day, and then give you an update at the end of the day, and then add it into this video. It'll be, like, legit. Um, anyway, so I'm gonna go wash this off. I'll let you know how it comes off. And then I will be right back. Okay. All right, I am back. And I have washed my face and put lotion on. Came off really easily considering I just put it on a second ago. <laughs> so that's good. Um, I did have to like exfoliate with my little like spongy thing. So that's, I mean, it's a good thing. Like it should be kind of hard to come off if I just put it on because you want it to last all day. Um, so yeah, let's try the next one. <laughs> My poor skin's probably like, why are you doing this to me? Um, so this one is the Magic Cover. Um, BB Cream. SPF 20 in Natural Beige. I wonder why that one is 37 and this one's only 20. Maybe they think that like you'll be wearing it at night because it's like more coverage. Oh, that was a fail, Sophie. I need my scissors. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> My cupcake scissors, of course. Um, yeah, maybe they think people are wearing them at, wearing this one at night because it's like more. Co 
coverage, maybe? Um, so yeah, let's, let's try this one out. Ooh! This one seems darker. A lot darker. It's like really kind of, well, I guess it kind of looks similar to my Skin 79 one. Anyway, let's give this a try. Oh, well, it's really dark. Wonder if it's gonna like settle into my skin. It smells good. It smells like, oh my god, it smells like, um, what the fuck does it smell like? It smells like a popsicle. It smells amazing. It smells like a fruity little kid, really artificially flavored popsicle. Love those. But this color is a little funny on me. <laughs> Oh good god, it's like so different from my neck. It's like yellow. Probably for a reason. Because it's usually for Asian I know that sounds really stereotypical, but I mean their skin is darker. This is probably meant for Asian people. <laughs> Not extremely waspy American girls. <laughs> um yeah, this is definitely more coverage. It looks a lot darker in person than it's showing up on camera. Maybe it's because my makeup mirror light's on. Can you see, like, the difference between my neck and my face? And, like, I feel like it's getting darker as it sits on my face. It feels nice, though. Just a little anal about darker coloring on my skin than it needs to be. I feel like I need to embrace my... <laughs> Albinism. Mm, I don't know. How do you feel about this? I mean, I do only have a sample. It was the only sample I had. I highly doubt I'm going to go out and buy this. I might buy the first one, though. It's not expensive. And if I find that I need to start wearing something on my face, I don't really need to, so I guess it would be kind of pointless. I don't, I've been, like, on such a good skin streak, I guess you would call it. Like, my skin has been amazing recently. Like, I had a zit here. And it went away, like, in a day. And I had it here, and it went away in a day. And that's all I've had for, like, over a month now. My skin has been completely clear. I mean, obviously, I have makeup on right now, but you saw. I had, no, like, nothing on my face. I'm, like, so excited about it. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go wash this off. Um, and then come back. And, um... We'll show you my new bow storage. I'm really excited about it. Okay. Be right back. Okay, I am back, clean-faced. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go see my bow organizer that's right there. So, um, well, I guess I could explain why I, I did this. Um, uh, my dad was visiting, and he put up another shelf in our bathroom. And he said he opened the, like, cupboard that he had put in before, and he was scared. And I was like, why? And he was like, Sophie, there's so many, like, hair bows in there, and they're like, coming at you when you open it and he was right it was kind of just like a scary pile of like pink bows so I decided to organize now I haven't figured out what to do with my headband so if you can think of what to do with headbands I have like the ones that like go all the way around your head and then I have ones like like this one that are just hard and you just put on like that so I'm trying to think of an, like an easy way to store them that's also cute um but also easy to just kind of like put them on and take them off of the organizer. So if you think of anything, let me know. Um, I saw a few ideas online and I'm not sure which one I like best yet. So I guess I could just try a few different ones and see how they work. But anyway, without further ado, um, it's on my desk. Um, see, we have these shelves that my dad put up for us, which is really awesome. Um, I'll, my desk is really messy. That's embarrassing. You can like see my noodle bowl that I was eating out of. But anyway, so I just have them hanging here. And I made this, this is like a ribbon that I had, and what I did was I just thumbtacked it to the wall, or to this like piece of wood here, um, and then tied this bow on top so it was kind of cute. And then I just clipped all my bows on there, so I have the ones with like that are like the French beret fit on there, the ones that just clip on are good, um, and I just think it's like a fun way to display my ribbons for my hair. Um... I'm not sure I like the bow color. It was just the only one that I had. Um, so I think if I'm like 
at a craft store or something and I just see a ribbon that I love, um, <laughs> then I'll probably get it and redo that. But like, I came up with that in like two seconds. I was like, I don't have glue, I don't have nails, I don't have screws, I don't have anything. And then I was like, but I do have a thumbtack. So, <laughs> so that worked out nicely. Um, I'm really excited about it actually. I've always wanted to have a cute little like hair bow organizer. Um, so now that I've embarrassed myself by showing you my really messy desk, um, I think I'm gonna go now. Um, Although, uh, speaking of skincare, I was thinking I would, since my skincare routine, I feel like I'm, like, really comfortable with it and I'm, like, loving it. So, um, I was thinking I would make you, like, my skincare routine video. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's all for now. Um, thank you for watching. Um, <laughs> I hope you weren't bored. Um, but it was fun for me to make because I slept all day today and it's like 12 o'clock at night and I'm like so awake and excited and don't have anything to do except for clean and I don't really feel like doing that. So I was like, I'll make Cody in a video. Yay! Um, all right, I'm going to go now. I love you and I miss you and hopefully we can Skype soon. Okay, bye!